hearing that these 5G towers are going up. Mm -hmm. And if they're in certain places, the frequency of that can really throw your body off. It can also cause for your genetic material to test for COVID-19. That's Diamond and Silk, sister Trump surrogates with a big internet following. The duo went viral throughout the Trump campaign, launching them from their living room to Fox News as outspoken Trump supporters. But they were recently ousted from the network after pushing conspiracy theories about COVID-19. So who are they? I'm comedian Rob Hayes, and this is the story of Trump's favorite sister act. Anithia Lynette Hardaway, or Diamond, and her Nithia Rochelle Hardaway Richardson, or Silk, were born a year apart in the early 70s in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Their mother, Betty Hardaway, and father, Freeman, are longtime televangelist pastors who supplemented their income over the years by selling herbal concoctions, pillows, blessed dolls, and wreaths that ward off witchcraft. Somebody did this, put old dead cat head up on my porch. Listen, get this door wreath. Get this door wreath that I believe as a point of contact will war off uh, witchcraft. Prior to pushing Trump's rhetoric further into the ether, Diamond and Silk were Democrats, like many black voters in North Carolina. But when one former game show host and alleged rapist, Donald J. Trump, threw his name in the race for the presidency, Diamond and Silk switched parties. So we got off of that Democrat plantation. And we switched our party to Republican to vote for Donald J. Trump. The duo's newly adopted party was in the hot seat in their home state after GOP-led North Carolina lawmakers passed a restrictive voter ID law in 2013 that cut a week of early voting, eliminated out-of-precinct voting, and required voters to show specific types of photo ID restrictions that election board data demonstrated would disproportionately affect African Americans and other minorities. In 2016, months prior to Trump's election, a federal appeals panel struck down the law calling it the most restrictive voting law North Carolina has seen since the era of Jim Crow, and said Republican lawmakers targeted African Americans with almost surgical precision. But voter disenfranchisement being led by their newly adopted party didn't seem to bother the sisters at all, and neither did Trump's decades of racist behavior. When Diamond and Silk started their YouTube channel, it was initially television criticism vlogs, but when they started posting in support of their favorite thrice-married reality star, they began to see an increase in viewership, and they stuck with it. In the videos, Diamond acts as the letterman to Silk Schaefer. In other words, Diamond often takes charge, and Silk reaffirms everything she says. Uh-huh. One of their earliest videos on Trump is dated July 5th, 2015. It only features Diamond and it's called Dump the Rest of Those Chumps and Vote for Donald Trump in 2016. We can't just have that damn border open for everybody to come up in here. We don't know who walking amongst us. So that border got to be secure. So he didn't lie about that. The two were launched into stardom and frequently went viral. And one of their most popular uploads Diamond goes on an anti megan Kelly rant after Kelly asked Trump the previous night in a debate to respond to comments he's made about women, where he's called them fat pigs, dogs, and slobs. Diamond and Silk's video, which is titled, Megyn Kelly Starts a War with Donald Trump at the Debate, featured both the sisters and today has nearly 2 million views. You know, perhaps you don't need to be hosting debates. Uh -huh. and make her go back to report news yeah. at the local news. Oh, Try yeah. Sesame Street. The sisters were quickly invited on Fox News. Two women have become an overnight internet sensation. Earlier, I spoke with Lynette Diamond Hardaway and Rochelle Silk Richardson. Just a few months later, Trump held a campaign rally in their home state and invited the sisters on stage. And I see these two on television. I say they are the greatest. What is it? They became an internet sensation 
I hope you've uh, monetized it a little bit. Right? Today, their YouTube channel has over 267,000 subscribers. Their Facebook page is even more popular with over 1.8 million likes. But considering Trump only received 8% of the black vote in 2016, most of their fans, which the Washington Post dug up, are middle-aged white women. But regardless, business was booming. They trademarked Diamond and Silk. They started selling items on their web store, like a $20 bobblehead. $25 branded wine glass and even a $1.99 mp3 download of a real song they made about a fact called Trump's Your President. Trump's your president. He's your president. They were regulars on Fox shows like Hannity, Waters World, The Ingram Angle, and Fox and Friends. In 2018, they were given their own show on Fox Nation, the network's online streaming service. The spotlight even allowed them to team up with white supremacist congressman Steve King to try to promote new legislation he'd help craft, which failed. But it all came crashing down in March of 2020. The coronavirus pandemic prompted a national emergency, and much of the country retreated to their homes in fear of becoming infected. That's when the duo promoted various conspiracy theories about the pandemic. Fox News cut ties with the sisters after they amplified misinformation about the novel coronavirus. It's unclear what remark got them the boot from Fox News, a station which is seemingly okay with guests saying and doing pretty much anything. Maybe it was when they said the coronavirus death numbers were inflated to make Trump look bad. Right. What you're trying to do is you're politicizing it yes. to make somebody look bad. Uh. So is this being deliberately spread it? I, I, I'm just, look! I'm not being a conspiracy theory. No. This is real. But yeah. I'm asking my own questions. What the hell is going on? Or maybe it was this tweet. The only way we can become immune to the environment, we must be out in the environment. Quarantining people inside their houses for extended periods will make people sick. Whatever remarks got them booted, Trump is standing behind the sisters. He quote tweeted them amid their ousting. But I love Diamond and Silk. And so do millions of people. It's unclear where Diamond and Silk will go from here. There has never been joint press secretaries in the history of the U.S. But under this president, anything is possible. Leave Donald Trump! Leave him alone! Leave him alone. Yeah. Period! Bye! Hey, thanks for watching Who Is? Did you know we have a podcast now too? On Who Is, the podcast, I'll dive deep into the fascinating lives of the people who run things, whose decisions impact every aspect of our lives. How did they get where they are today? And knowing that, what might they do next? From politicians to the ultra rich, to military contractors and monarchs and media moguls, I'll introduce you to the reporters and experts who know these real life world molders best sharp-eyed observers and confidants who observe our subjects as they make the decisions that define our everyday lives. To see more, hit the link or search Who Is on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. And for more of the video series you know and love, be sure to check out the Snapchat versions and our series playlists on YouTube and Facebook.